Champion Evo 3 S1 uh, to the this is the Olympia Tactical Pathfinder Grip Gen 2 Flat Dark Earth. And uh, just in case you were wondering if you have the FPE, it actually it's a pretty good match. Let's see if I can get you there. It's a pretty good match. It seems to be looks about the same material that they made to make it, so I uh, shouldn't have any problems with it looking different. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is take off the handle. By that, you just do just take out the screw here. Everything is, um, and a lot of people are probably going to argue, when you buy a gun on S, you shouldn't have to um, change things. You don't. You really do not. This stuff is to um, modify or change to a particular person. Um, you might like things a little bit differently, but this gun is perfect on how it is. But I'm changing out a few things I want to try out, and I might like it differently, I might not. But I at least want to try it. And um, just in case some, you got some hater on there saying, oh, you have to change stuff out by buying a brand new gun. And like I said, it's, I'm just trying things out and uh, see how different things feel. But uh, if, if it was a choice of getting it and not getting it because I changed something, believe me, I'd get it and leave it alone. But uh, if you watch my channel, you like to know that I like changing things up and playing with stuff. So, all right, continuing on, you take out the screw after my little rant there, and then you just gonna slide this back, nothing to it, and that's it. I'm gonna put this screw actually back in here. Um, some things or concerns is when you put this on that you can't break it down, and I'm gonna find out right now. I do not know, and. This screw is actually on the other side and is a smaller Allen head. So just in case, it's gonna be a two, I think it's a two millimeter, 2.0. So we're gonna slide it on. Let me check this right. Okay, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Let's see here. There it went. Um, it was a little snug, took a little bit. And we are actually going to change out the side they had it on. Come with a little screw. I'm going to hold my hand on that, like so. Actually, I am going to put a little Loctite. I am a firm believer in Loctite. I'm actually going to put it right here on, I got my, my Kydex press right here. I always put it usually on a piece of metal. I put the tip of it in some, um, like that, then I'll shove it on through. Now, um, I don't like a gap. Um, and I've, I've seen some stuff that have a gap here. And I do not like that. That's one thing I do not want. You can also see here, see how it's got a little notch in the original handle? There's not a notch here. So there's something we might be able to actually change and make it work so uh, we can take out the receiver. But we're going to see here right now. All right, first of all, let's uh, be smart about it and pull the pin out. That's always going to help. And let me adjust my camera a little bit. And I'm going to slide this in and then pull back the bolt, slide it up, slide that down. So there you have it, people. With this grip, you do not have to take the handle apart, which I don't have it tightened up at all, but it slid all the way forward. And then you pin, slide, you're done. So I am happy about that. Actually, this is pretty tight, but oh yeah, super happy about that. All right, so slide the bolt back, put it in lock position, pull the pin, and it comes right out. So no need to have a gap up here. The handle fits smoothly and firmly against there. As you can see, safety works, slide release, and there you go. 
I appreciate y'all watching. Like and subscribe, and always have a great day.